Hi. Hope you had a blessed week. And uh, do you remember what we learned last time? Spending some time with God. Having some few moments with God. Now I ask you today. How many days did you spend some time with God? Seven days? Six days? Five days? I don't know. So today, I want us to learn about how do we spend some time with God? How do we spend some time with God? We spend some time with God in two ways. One, prayer. Two, reading the Bible. That's how we spend our time with God. So today we'll focus more on prayer. Prayer, we look at prayer. What is prayer? Basically prayer, prayer is communicating to God. That's how we communicate to our Father in heaven, to our God, to our maker. And when we pray, how do we pray? Last time we learned that we need to be in a silent room and pray. The Israelites, the Bible says in Exodus 33, 7, Moses used to take a tent and set it up far outside the camp. He called it the tent of the meeting. Anyone who wanted to ask the Lord a question will go to the tent of the meeting outside the camp. The same way we are doing, the Israelites did the same thing. They had some time with God. They head to the tent separately tree and had some time with God. The same way, we should have some time with God. Most of us will ask, how do we pray? Do we use big, fancy words to pray? Thou, thee, thy, thy sanctify, no. No. The Lord is our friend. Look at Moses. Exodus 33:11 says, The Lord will speak to Moses face to face, like one will speak to a friend. The Lord is our friend. So when you speak to God, it's the same way I speak to our friend. This is Jackie and Mary. Morning. Morning. How was your day? Fine. Yours? It was fine. Oh, today you're very smart. Thank you. You have a new shoe? Yes, my shoe is new. Jackie and Mary are friends. The same way we talk to God. We talk to God as our friend. You don't speak to your friend. Hi, how are you? Are you fine? No, you speak to your friend in a good, natural voice. So when you speak to God, use simple words. In fact, they say the most simple prayers are the most powerful prayers. Just be simple when you talk to God. So our memory verse for, our memory verse for today is Exodus chapter 33, verse 11. To make it easier, Exodus chapter 33, verses 11. Exodus chapter 33, verses 11. It says, The Lord will speak to Moses face to face like one will speak to to a friend. The Lord will speak to Moses. Moses had such beers. The Lord will speak to Moses face to face, the way Jackie and Mary have spoken, face to face, like one will speak to a friend. The Lord is our friend. So when we pray, we make it simple. It's that simple. Talk to God. Tell God about your worries what you fear most, what you want, your expectation. Tell God is our friend. So when you pray, how do you pray? How do you pray? One, first of all, tell God about God. Tell God how you love him, magnify him, worship him, bless his name, adore him. Number two, pray for other people. Pray for your family. Pray for your siblings, for your neighbors, for your friends. 
Pray for this pandemic up for coronavirus. Pray for the whole world. Pray for the, our country. Number three, pray for yourself. That's how you pray. You pray lastly for yourself. And it's that simple. It is that simple. Just pray to God. So as you spend some time with God, pray and pray to God. So our memory verse for today, I repeat, Exodus chapter 33 verses 11. Exodus 33 verses 11. It says, The Lord will speak to Moses face to face like one will speak to his or her friend. The Lord will speak to Moses face to face like one will speak to his friends. So make God your friend as you pray. Pray to him as your friend. So we are done for today. Have a blessed Easter. Enjoy your Easter. Stay at home. And uh, remember to spend some time with God. Bye. And oh no, we have to pray. We have to pray. Let's pray. Lord, we come before you as our friend. We want to thank you. You've been with us. We thank you. You've protected us. You've watched over us. We want to thank you for your goodness, for your loving kindness which is better than life forgive us the sins that we've done oh god we want to pray for the whole world whereby we have the pandemic of coronavirus we look upon you jehovah father that you may bring a solution to all this that oh father lord may you hide us under your wings lord how i pray as we start this new week be with us oh lord we commit everything into your hands oh father oh my god may you have your way in jesus name we pray Amen. Before we say the grace, uh, remember to wash your hands. You remember what you did last time? You wash your hands, 20 seconds. And if you don't, uh, if you have a sanitizer, you can use a sanitizer as well. Remember always to wash your hands. Wash your hands and you wash them thoroughly. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen! Yeah!